supervising or holding on to and that kind of stuff, that's me and you, Joni. Um, feel free to come with your kids, please. Just come on, come on down and sit all along here. Fe here you go, right here. Sit down right there in all these places. There you go. And you can sit in front. Some can sit in front. You want to sit down here in front where you can see better? You sit down here. They all want the top row. Or the back row. Now you won't be able to see. I'm going to stand over here. Can you see me over here? All right. Now, adults, I want you to know that we want you to participate whenever we sing some of these songs and not just let it be just the kids. You can join right in. Thank you for coming tonight. The first thing I want you to do is run to your mommy. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The first thing I would like for you to do is show me the happiest face you can possibly show to everyone. Show me the happiest face. Oh, come on, happier than that. Oh, that's a good happy face. Very good. Now I want you to show me the grumpiest face. You just woke up and you're tired or your mom said, no, you cannot have that. And you've got a big grumpy face. Let me see your grumpy face. Okay. Now, tonight I'm going to tell you a story. We'll sing some songs in a moment. But I'm going to tell you a story about a boy who had a grumpy face. And he had a grumpy face because he had a bad temper. You know what a temper is? A bad temper means that you get angry really quickly. And so when someone does something that you don't like, it makes you really angry real quickly. That's called having a bad temper. Well, this boy we're going to look at tonight, his name is Anthony. And here he is. You see Anthony? Anthony had a bad temper. He had such a bad temper that he had a nickname. He was called Angry Anthony because he was always being angry. Well, Angry Anthony was watching his favorite cartoons on television when his mom said, Anthony, it is time to come for supper. He did not want to go to supper because he wanted to keep watching his cartoons. Well, his mother said, I told you to come to the table. She went over and she got him by the hand and she led him into the kitchen. And he started to get madder and madder and madder. And his temper began to boil. And he lost his temper and he screamed really, really loudly. He screamed so loud that all the cars stopped at the train tracks. Because they thought they had heard a train coming. And Anthony, he went over and with his foot, he kicked the television set. Ooh, he got in big trouble. Well, the next day, Anthony was outside and he was riding his bicycle. He loves his new bicycle he got for Christmas and he was zooming along everywhere. He was riding up hills and down hills. And he ran into a tree and had a wreck. Oh, he began to get mad. Anthony's face got redder and redder. He began to lose his temper and he screamed really loud. And all the volunteer firemen came running into town. They thought there had been a fire. Anthony was so mad, he took his bicycle and he threw it into a ditch and went into the house. And he got in big, big trouble. Well, later, Anthony was playing baseball. And it was his turn to come up to bat. And the pitcher threw the ball, strike one. Ooh, all the kids got nervous. Strike two, everyone got even more nervous. Strike three, he struck out. His face got redder and redder. He began to lose his temper. And he screamed so loud. Everyone thought they heard the noon whistle. All the kids ran and they hid because they knew what was going to happen whenever he lost his temper. And he got in big, 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 big trouble. Well, Anthony... 
He ended up living in the doghouse because no one wanted to be around him. And so he told his dog, he said, no one in the whole world loves me but you. And the dog said, that's not true. I don't like you either. (laughs) And the reason I don't like you is because you scream so loud you hurt my ears. What am I going to do? I have the worst temper in the whole state of Arkansas. Well, I don't want to sound personal, said the dog, but... The Bible says, in James 1.19, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. So, here's what Anthony did. He took off his head, and he put in Jesus. Jesus would help him with his temper. Also, he would put in to him, what? The Bible. It's a very tiny Bible, but it fits right in the top of his head just perfectly. And so the more that Anthony read his Bible, and the more that he prayed, and the more that he let Jesus help him with his temper, he did a whole lot better not losing his temper anymore. Remember, it says in James 1.19, everyone should be quick to Listen or quick to hear, slow to speak and slow to become angry because man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Now let's sing a couple of songs. Everybody to put your hands like this. We're going to pretend like that this is the sunshine, okay? We'll sing Jesus in the morning and you all can join along with us. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus at the noontime. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Love him, I'm going to love him. Love him in the morning, love him at the noontime. Love him, I'm going to love him. Love him when the sun goes down. Serve him, I'm going to serve him. Serve him in the morning, serve him at the noontime. Serve him, I'm going to serve him. Serve him when the sun goes down. Good job. Okay, let's do Awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. All right, good job. So, what did Anthony lose? He lost his temper because he was always getting mad or angry. And how did he stop? He put something into him. What did he put into him? The Bible and Jesus. You got it right. Okay, you can go back and sit with your parents. Thank you very much.